Subscribe to our KOM News Digest, our weekly email newsletter with all kinds of information straight to your inbox. Just subscribe and we'll make sure to keep you informed and entertained with news from the KOM News team, what to watch on NBC and CBS, and the latest promotions from KOM Communications. Go to KOM.com, click on the newsletter tab at the top of the homepage, register, and you're all set. Brought to you by Uno Go, Guam On Demand. Welcome back, everybody, to Hotspot. We are streaming live on YouTube, on Facebook, and, of course, we're coming to you on KUM-TV. And June, my friends, is Pride Month. It's Pride Month all over the country now, with it being officially June in the mainland. And to kick things off, there is a proclamation signing this afternoon locally, and today there will be a wave taking place. Joining me now is Equality Guam co-founder Lasia Casil, who has all the details. Lasia, welcome back. You have been a leading voice, a member of the LGBT community, um, someone who has dedicated your life to, to helping um, teaching Guam in general about, you know, inclusivity, about uh, diversity and everything like that. And we are so in your honor for doing that. And I know you brought something extra special today to yes. commemorate Pride Month. Happy I, Pride, by the way. Happy Pride. I just wanted to share this with the viewers. Um, this is a, uh, the transgender flag that I right. have made with the symbol of Guam. And I actually have it signed here at the bottom by Monica Helms. Monica Helms was the designer of the transgender flag in the 80s. And she's also a Navy veteran who served uh, on the USS Flasher and the USS Francis Scott Key mm -hmm. submarines and was stationed here in Guam in the 70s. Um, when she was presenting as male. Um, so there is a connection here. And I just wanted to point that out between the transgender flag and Guam. That is beautiful. That is really, really nice. And of, of course, you were telling me off camera, there are many copies of this and everything. Uh, where will we be able to see uh, the, the pride flags being yes. flown throughout the month? Uh, today, we actually have a proclamation um, by the Lieutenant Governor happening at 3.30 p.m at uh, Chief Kapua mm -hmm. um, uh, next to Chamorro Village. So please join us at 3.30 p.m. and then we'll, we'll segue right into the Pride Wave from 4 to 6 p.m. Uh, bring your flags, bring um, you know, your colorful outfits and, and join us in, in celebrating Pride and um, our community here. Mm -hmm. It's a static wave where everybody kind of passes by by and honking you. your horn. Because yes. I, I remember in, in past, there's been a pride parade where, where the community would all walk like together. I mean, it's unbelievably amazing. I mean, it's just such a feeling of, of joy and of love. And I mean, you can really feel the spirit. Yes, we do have some other events uh, planned for this, e this, this month. Uh, I believe on the 28th, we have a panel of LGBTQ um, people from our community who will be speaking out and sharing their experiences. And it'll be a wide range of you know, students, teachers, um, people from the government. Um, we also have a, um, a volleyball tournament that we're trying to, to mm -hmm. schedule with Team Umiti, who is uh, the local LGBTQ um, volleyball team. And they had won gold in the Gay Olympics Excellent. a few years ago. Um, I know that every Thursday, the House of Diosa is uh, putting on a special pride performance mm -hmm. uh, every week with a different theme. And um, they're, we're going to announce all these things on, on our Facebook page so, so people know the exact date and time and where they, they can participate. Mm -hmm. And what is the Facebook page so everybody can follow it right now if they aren't already? Oh, we, we have the Guam Pride Facebook page as well mm -hmm. as the Equality Guam Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Now, can we break down for people who may not know, like what is the, the genesis of Pride Month? When did it officially become you know, a recognized event? And when, when did we start you know, um, celebrating as we do on Guam? Yes, it's very, very important. Thank you for asking that. Um, this month um, is used to commemorate uh, LGBTQ, um, the uprising in um, New York uh, during Stonewall in mm. 1969. Um, there was a gay club uh, in the West Village in New York called Stonewall, and it was continuously um, violated, invaded by the police, harassed by the police, um, that the, the people that would frequent this, this club, that the drag queens, the transgender people, the gay people, the lesbian people. Mm -hmm. And on this particular date, I believe it's June 28th, um, they had just had enough you know, of being beaten and tormented. And they fought back and there were riots uh, for several days and they fought it back against the police. Um, and this is considered the modern day, a launching point uh, uh, for the LGBTQ rights movement. Mm -hmm. And so we come together during this month to uh, remember and commemorate all of those that came before us, um, Marsha P. Johnson, um, 
all those leaders who sacrifice their lives mm -hmm. um, to, so that we can have some of the rights that we have today. We, we come together this month to celebrate um, you know, all those things uh, and to um, remember that there's still many, many more challenges that we have to overcome. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so much going on, especially the past year with anti-LGBTQ legislation in the states. You've seen the uh, Don't Say Gay bill uh, being passed in Florida, mm -hmm. and that's being copycatted. It's now in, in Texas, now Oklahoma, and um, it's landed on, on our shores here with uh, the schools uh, banning transgender athletes from participating in sports. Mm -hmm. Now, Guam has always had, um, you know, our familial structure and everything like that. Um, there's always been the, the, the presence of respect and of love. And the one thing that I've always so much appreciated about Pride Month is it's not, you know, if you're not a member of, of the LGBT community, you know, it's, it's like a little private party. And, you know, like when, when everybody's like celebrating, if you're not a part of that, that community, then you're kind of like out. Everyone is welcome. And you, you have done so much, you and your colleagues, in embracing like other people that, that want to come and, and want to march or want to stand with you and just want to show our support and everything so i mean it, it really is a, an inclusive event that, that really bridges the whole community it is it's all about inclusivity mm -hmm. and creating safe safe spaces for our lgbtq youth our allies mm -hmm. um the families of lgbtq youth um the parents um, you know, there are a lot of us in this community that didn't get that support, you know, that were thrown out by their families, that are homeless, that are, that are suffering um, from discrimination. They turn to alcohol or drugs mm -hmm. or commit suicide right. or murdered. Um, so we just, wanna, we just want the young people to know that we are working hard to create a safe space for you. We love you. We support you. We recognize you. Mm -hmm. Normally, like when, when I have people on the show and like, you know, if we're asking like about an organization, I'd say like, you know, how many members have you? But um, do you have any like rough maybe ballpark estimate of how how large the LGBT community is like here on Guam? Because I mean, it, I mean, it's growing every day and that's an absolutely wonderful thing to see mm -hmm. that, you know, young people, people who are in, you know, like um, in, in midlife, people um, at, at any walk in life and everything like that can say, you know what, I make the choice to identify a certain way or I want to live my life a certain way and I should be embraced for it and everything. So how many people by your estimates? Well, I just want to correct you on something, okay. Jason, yes, because please. it's not a choice. You okay. were born this way. Thank you. Right? Okay. It's not a choice. You didn't choose to be straight, right? You were born straight or whatever, whoever's out there. You didn't choose to identify as a woman. You, you know, you, you're born that way. Mm -hmm. So um, it's not like we're growing exponentially. We already exist in the community. Mm -hmm. um, the fact is, is that many of us have been hiding in the closet for so many years because of the discrimination, because of the hatred and the bigotry. And so what we see now is people coming out of the closet. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, it's not like you, you just became gay, you know. It's those safe spaces that we're creating that makes them feel comfortable to, to actually come out and say who they are and how they identify and how they feel. Mm -hmm. And since we started Guam Pride in 2016, we have seen the our events double in size every year because people are feeling more comfortable about being who they are. Strength in numbers, up. you know. Exactly. Yeah. And now we have the first uh, ever um, elected openly gay lieutenant governor in our nation's history. Mm -hmm. that, that just gives Shout us more Justin support. Norton. Yes. <laughs> and we have a great administration that supports us. We just rose up the, uh, on Adeloupe yesterday, um, the transgender and the pride flags. You know, this is the first time those flags have ever been um, flown during an administration. Mm -hmm. um, Let me ask you, how, how does that make you feel? Because, you know, you've lived in so many parts of the world, you know, you've seen uh, you know, the, the treatment or mistreatment, I guess, of, you know, the LGBTQ community. And then to be, and you, you know, you've done so much uh, legislatively, um, making public appearances, you know, um, literally crying tears with people who are going, you know, through some very, very tough times, uh, trying to empathize with them, sharing your own experience, offering love and support. To stand there and the symbolic nature of being able to raise the flag and see members of your community, you know, flying high as equals and everything. What, what does that mean to you? Not just symbolically, but emotionally. It's, it's, it's instilled confidence in, in me and I know members of our community and rep representation matters. Mm. Um, and 
it, I think it gives us the, the, the power to go out and, and uh, reach out to other members of our community and show them that, hey, you know what? Um, here are role models, positive role models, you know, which I didn't have growing up. Mm -hmm. Many of our LGBTQ youth um, when we, in the 80s and 70s and 90s, you know, we did not have those positive role models. Yeah, you walked your journey for a long time alone. <laughs> yes. That's a, that's a very scary no. thing to do. Um, but I'll, I'll tell you honestly, um, Jason, that this past year has been very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. It's been one of the hardest years, actually. Mm -hmm. And um, please explain. Right. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to hit the big 5-0 next year. And um, because of all the anti-LGBTQ legislation that's been going on, um, because of all the hatred and bigotry and the emboldenedness from the previous Trump administration, mm -hmm. um, I have never felt as discriminated or bullied since high school. Mm -hmm. I, I, the past year. Um, and this know, is going back to the 80s when the world was a much different place. Right. When, when, when the words that we would use, not, not from a place of hate or a place of discrimination, just because that's what everybody said back right. there. And I'm not even going to say those words because everybody knows what I'm talking about. But those words have thankfully been eliminated from the lexicon. But even as crazy as those days were, you're saying now is even worse. It's, it's I feel that you know, I have a tough skin, you know, I've, I've lived. Damn right. <laughs> I, I, I know you well enough. I mean, you, you, you have gone head to head with some, some very, very heavy stuff. Yeah. Um, and the average lifespan of a trans person is 35 years old. Mm -hmm. They commit suicide. They turn to drugs, to alcohol, and um, they're thrown out by their family. And by 35, most trans people are, are dead, murdered, whatever. Mm -hmm. And all that starts in their youth, when they're being discriminated against, when they're being bullied, when they're being told that they shouldn't exist, they, they shouldn't be allowed to play sports, they shouldn't be allowed to participate. And now I see that happening here on this island, where we have leaders, you know, in our community that are speaking against, out, out against our community. Um, you know, they use their platforms on the radio, on, the, on TV. And I'm talking about Bob Klitschke, I'm talking about Ron McNinch, and I will name them out. Um, you know, bullying children. Um, and that's what it comes down to. When you write an op-ed piece, you know, talking about wanting to go back to the days when boys were boys and girls were girls, you know, I mean, Back in those days, women didn't have rights, right? Uh, there was separate but equal. So is that what you want to go back to? Is when um, the, the, the predominant um, force was single white male, uh, you know, um, people. Um, look at the presidency. How many, look at the diversity of that. We've had one black president in 200 years. Exactly. Right. So. I hear that now on the radio. I hear that, I see it every day when I, when I um, open the newspaper, mm -hmm. um, being discriminated. And like I said, my show is starting to feel like a little cracked. You know, I'm thick skinned. You know, I've, I've dealt with this. Can you imagine what our youth is feeling like? But you realize that's, that's what the people who would stand against you and your, and your haters, if you will, that's that's what they're that's what whoever it is they're they're going for and everything like that right. but but what we are here to t talk about today is to come together as a community to be strong exactly. and again strength in numbers so, okay so now that we've given that some context we only got a minute left um we also want to talk about the fact that this is a celebration it's a it's a coming together of love but there is a there is a, a very prescient need to fight yes yeah. you know this is the month when we come together and we support each other mm -hmm. and we embrace each other and we remember um, the challenges that we've overcome, mm -hmm. all of those that have lost their lives. We had a whole generation of gay men lose their lives during the 80s with mm -hmm. the HIV epidemic. Yep. Um, and we want to remember them and, and celebrate also that we have a bright future. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, again, there's going to be a proclamation signing today and we want, we want to actually shine light on the celebration part of it because we want people to, to go there without any fear of being it's judged. It's a safe space. Ex exactly. And, and it's a wonderful space. I mean, I've been, I've been to several and it is a wonderful gathering of, of emotion. But like you said, you know, I mean, you, you know, you do talk about the struggle continues. Yes. Um, the fight must continue. Yes, absolutely. But love will continue. 
Yes. That, that is the one incontrovertible truth. I mean, that, can, that is inarguable and everything like that. Love will prevail. Love is love, yes. Yeah. And it has before, you know, love wins. So, yes, please join us today at 3.30 at Chief Kapua Park um, for the proclamation signing. And then from 4 to 6, we have the, the Pride Wave. The Pride Wave. Um, how many people do you expect to come out at the Pride Wave? What time oh, should people show I, up? I, I think 3.15. That's a good time. Yeah, that's a good time. Park. And then, you know, we'll have actually safety officers, officers there to help them cross the street. Mm -hmm. um, and then afterwards, we, you know, we're going to go over to Skinner Plaza because we have the food trucks there this afternoon. Uh, outstanding. Okay, yes. well, Lassie, I'll tell you what, let's look into camera three. And we'll, um, could we show the, oh. the flag once more? I would like to hold that with you. Yes. Just as a symbol. Here we go. Metaphorical and literal because KUAM celebrates pride over here. Pride Month is always something that's, that's very, very wonderful for us. You know, we stand with you. We always have and we always will. Yes, thank you so Happy much. Happy Pride, Happy everybody. Happy Pride, everyone. Thank you so much, Lassia, for, for your guidance, for your leadership, but also for celebrating this experience with all of us and allowing us to share it with you. Happy Pride, everybody. Happy please, Pride. Please stay tuned because Hotspot Diva will Pride. Diva Pride. Hotspot will continue right after this. Get up to the minute news, plus access to alerts, streaming radio, promotions, and more on your mobile device by downloading the KUAM News mobile app, available at the App Store now.